All right, thanks, Kev. 642 now on Daybreak. And we wanted to bring a smile to your face this Monday morning. A class from Build Academy here in Buffalo went on a field trip to the Buffalo Zoo. And for many, this was their first time ever. First time at the zoo, first time on a field trip for many. Daybreak's Alexandra Rios went with the class to the zoo. And now the class is walking away with their favorite memories. Here's how it went. Most of these third graders have never been to the zoo before, and now they're walking away with favorites. The hyenas and the lions. Oh yeah, we've seen hyenas and we and we and we've seen sand cats. My favorite was the ze zebras. The zebras, nice. Every once in a while, you get a group that just really touches your heart. And when I tell you these third graders in my 15 years of teaching are just all amazing, 26 amazing kids and the love that they have for learning, I just had to make it come alive. And she did. After Ms. Colleen Melissa, a third grade teacher at Bill Community School, got an okay from the school officials to take her students on a field trip, she took them to the Buffalo Zoo. A lot of our kids have never been to the zoo. So because of that, when I asked them how tall they thought a giraffe was, they said, I think they're like 10 feet, 60 feet. I think they're like 50 inches. And some of these kids have never even been on a field trip before either. We have students from five different countries, as well as a little boy who's straight from Syria, and he doesn't even speak English. He speaks Arabic, and he's having the best day ever. She knew there may be a financial aid barrier, so she went ahead and created a GoFundMe. Four hours later, they were fully funded. A lot of our families wouldn't have been able to have the funds to go, so honestly, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity because you know the zoo's expensive it's like $13 a kid but because of Buffalo and the wonderful community that it is we were able to go and they were able to go for free and after a long day at the zoo and with only a few days left before summer Miss Melissa says she's going to be sad to let them go well, I tell them I'm gonna fail them just so they can stay but just seeing their faces and their enjoyment and like a polar bear and they just pet a sphinx or a stinks I don't even know what it's called but it was amazing, because when are they going to get to do that again? Was it a 10 out of 10 trip? Was it? No, no. Why? It was a 1,000 out of 10. Nearly all the kids I spoke with said they cannot wait to go back. One said she can't even wait to take her little sister there someday either. Liz and Pete, back to you guys. Yeah, after all, it's not every day you get to pet a skink. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's like a big <laughs> lizard type of thing. I went to, on a field trip to the zoo, too. Oh, so. You're back. Uh, well, Alex, thank you for bringing that to us. It's a really special story and something so simple that so many people take for granted. But for these kids, it's a memory that'll last a lifetime thanks to that teacher going above and beyond. Yeah, those yep. big smiles behind you tell the story. Yep. Thanks very much, Alex.